everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a fall decorate with me of my kitchen and I'm also going to be showing you how I decorated this hutch behind me for fall and I'm just really excited this is my first time being able to really decorate this hutch I found it on Facebook marketplace for only $50 and just redid it I painted it black and added this gold hardware to match the rest of the kitchen and this is going to be kind of like a kitchen reveal because we updated our kitchen we made it an open concept and we added a whole addition to the back of our house in a basement and it's been pretty much a three-year process but without further ado i'm going to go ahead and show you what all i'm going to use to decorate and then we'll get started all right guys so this is a quick overview I have everything off the shelves that I'm going to decorate with. I went ahead and just messed with it until I figured out how I like it before showing you guys, so I'm not wasting time. But what we did in our kitchen, we kept it really simple with just open shelving, floating shelves with this white tile and then added this range hood. We already had the stove and refrigerator, so we just got a new dishwasher to match. And yeah, we use butcher block for the counters to save a bunch of money too. We were gonna do quartz, but we decided just to do the wood butcher block. And honestly, I think it goes so good with the bronze handles. And I found those on Amazon. Now, before we get started, I did wanna say, I always leave my cast iron pans skillets out since they look nice and the top is cast iron. Um, you know, it just, I use these pans every day and I think it looks cute on there. And then over here, I just have my coffee maker. And then I have this spice rack I found at Marshall's maybe a month ago. And I think it's so perfect. That way I can just see what I have, reach over and use what I need. But if this seems too cluttered to you, let me know. I can always put it down in my cabinet. And I may do that in the future. When we get our pantry done, um, it's gonna be a really nice like walk-in pantry that's behind me. I'll have my coffee maker over there. And then we may move that in there. So I'll have more space. I just don't want it to be too cluttered. So you're gonna be seeing, I'm gonna use a lot of neutral decor on this open shelving. And I'm gonna use more of our like bronze, deeper colors and copper colors in my hutch. Moving over here, my husband actually put this bar on the side here. And then I found these bar stools on Facebook Marketplace and they match so well. They were all this wood, but I just painted the top and bottom black to match but it's really nice. I found this nice wood and black strainer from Marshalls. And then over here, I got this little tray from Marshalls. And then I always like to put a fresh bouquet in here, right on this little tray with my soap. And I, I tried to do more fall colors. So I do have a lot of pretty pink flowers outside, but we keep those in my daughter's room. She likes to put those in there. And then over here, I have my salt, pepper, um, this olive oil, and this canister with my utensils. And then I just bought a new lamp that goes right here. I've been seeing this lamp online and it is so cute. And it has different settings on it. And what's so nice is all you have to do is charge it. And I like to put it on of an evening. And once the days get shorter, it'll be so cozy to have this in here of an evening. Isn't that so cute? And it was at Marshall's, I think, for like $14. So I highly recommend. Okay, and this is everything I'm gonna use for my open shelving. And I wanted to keep it all like very neutral because this could easily get carried away. I just don't want it to look too cluttered. So you're gonna see lots of whites and some pops of browns. So I'm gonna go through this very quickly. Now, today I went to, after dropping my kids off at school, I went to Dollar General and I found these adorable little salt and pepper shakers. And I probably won't use them for salt and pepper. I'll just use them as decorations. But these little acorns are so cute and I love that they're the ceramic white. I got these little spoons recently at Hobby Lobby. They just came in a little package and they're so tiny and I thought they looked cute in these little dishes from Walmart. And I use these all the time for the kids for like maple syrup and stuff for dipping. Over here is this antique little bowl. And inside I have this real gourd I got last year at an antique store. And then inside I have these blackberry stems. And I thought these would be perfect in the kitchen. I have them here and then I have a vase right there with some more. But I got the idea of these from Kaylin Cash. She talked about them on her channel and I love all of her decor, so she always inspires me. So this was definitely inspired by her. And then on my dining table, I have some more as well that I'll show you later. And then over here, I picked two of these cups up. They actually have two different prints on them, and they're so beautiful. So I'm sure I'll be using these a lot this year. The print is different. 
I thought they looked so pretty stacked up like that. Another Dollar General find is this little soup canister, casserole dish, whatever you want to call it. I, I like to make soup in it. So I had this last year and I used it a ton and it just looks so pretty up on the shelf. So I'm sure I'll be using this a lot again this year. Here's another dried gourd and these are just so beautiful. I love how like natural they are and the colors. I'm going to be using this pumpkin from Hobby Lobby I've had for years. It has this cute pumpkin pie recipe, which I may use actually, but I'm gonna use just the plain side as well as this creamer Ray Dunn. I like more of the simple look. So all you have to do if you have those dishes and don't want all the wording, you can just flip them around. And then these adorable mugs from Target last year. I don't know if they have them this year or not. I need to go to Target and check out their fall stuff. But I will be stacking those as well and drinking out of these a bunch this year, I'm sure. And then here are those stems again in this Hobby Lobby white pitcher. I have this pitcher that says White Cottage Stoneware Co. This is from a boutique store that I believe has closed down but I just put inside of these some cinnamon sticks for a pop of brown. And then this morning I also picked up this glass little dish from Dollar General. And I don't know what I'm gonna put in it yet. I kinda look, like the look of it just plain. You can use it for anything. I think it'd be cute to put coffee in it and put it next to your coffee maker. So we'll see what I'm gonna do with that, but for now I'm gonna leave it. And then the last thing I got from Dollar General today was this little $5 wood stand. And it was just so petite. I love how little it is and I love the color of wood. So went ahead and got that. And then these little cups are so beautiful. I found these at Marshall's and I know that they have like a darker color. What is it? More like taupe or brown. I would like to get those maybe for my hutch or my shelves. And then just more dishes from Marshall's. And then over here, I wanted to share, I got this tray recently, this gold and white one from Marshall's. And I like to keep it here on my wood island it just helps to break up all the wood and black. I love the gold, how it matches, you know, the gold in our hardware. And then this is a very old picture that was actually handmade. Inside of it, I have these adorable stems and I will link them for you if I can find them. I wanted to buy more this year, but they have been sold out. But my mom loved them so much, I ordered some for her for her birthday last year. And they're just so beautiful. So I'm gonna keep this right on my island with this pumpkin candle. I just love how that looks. And then coming back over here, I just have some more dishes, my coffee I'm currently drinking. But these are Ray Dunn. This is a Christmas one, Mrs. Claus's Kitchen. But that's just gonna be like that, you won't see it. And then I keep my coffee and sugar. This actually is sugar, but I keep my coffee here that I use every day. And I'll just leave them like that. And then this was from Hobby Lobby on major clearance. I dropped all the spoons, but this was only $5. And then I just painted it this color but I love the like hobnail look. But anyways, that is everything I'm gonna decorate for these shelves, so let's go ahead and get to decorating. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're moving on to my hutch. So I'm gonna show you this hutch again over here. Now, I didn't love the pattern that's behind it, but once I have it all decorated and these doors shut, you can't see that. But I did love how the shelves were a nice brown. And then up here, I keep these baskets. This one is the kids' snack bin, and then this is all their candy and junk food. It does add another type of like brown element to the, to the area, so I like that. And then throughout the hutch, I have a bunch of just like kitchen things, dishes. We actually use these all the time. And then down here, I just have some oatmeal, sugar, flour, different cutting boards, you know, just kitchen things, a cake stand, and then this antique scale. But coming back over here, this is all my orangey copper items, and I just thought these would look better in the hutch instead of up on my shelving. So just let me know what you guys think. But I'm gonna tell you quickly, most of this is all from Hobby Lobby, like all the copper cups and this copper pitcher. I believe they still have them, I got them a few years ago. These pumpkins, and then this cool pumpkin here. I love that stem. And then these arrangements, these stems are from Hobby Lobby. And then also this little canister. And then inside of it, I just have caramels and cinnamon. As well as here, I have cinnamon sticks and a couple of these. I wanted to share this beautiful fall print. Look how pretty this is. I found this at a farmer's market and it was in, it had this frame, but it had glass on it. I took the glass off so you could see the print better. And then I went ahead and used oven cleaner on the frame to make it more of this natural wood because the, the wood was like that red orange and it just didn't look as pretty. And I think this looks stunning. So I absolutely love it with this cabin and the trees. Oh my goodness, that just screams fall. So I'm gonna put that up on my hutch. And then I have this old terracotta pot that I just put this. You know, I think this was from Hobby Lobby last year. I have another one of these in my bedroom with the yellow eucalyptus. This was from Marshalls a year or two ago. So I thought that would add a nice pop of brown. And then this little pitcher is from Hobby Lobby. And then these signs were so popular a few years back, but I still love this and I thought I could put it in my hutch. It just says cozy white cottage kitchen. It has that cute little saying on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this in my hutch and let you see how it looks all together. I love this orange gourd. It's just, I don't typically decorate with brighter colors, but I feel like it looks more muted when it's in my hutch, so I absolutely love it. And I'm so grateful it still fits even with this stem. So what's really cute about this hutch is it has little little hooks here for cups. So it's so perfect to display these little copper mugs because they're not very big. Now my Ray Dunn mugs that I drink out of every day, the ones that say mom and mama, they are way too big to go on these little hooks. But I just love the pops of copper in here. Isn't that so pretty? I am on the search for more copper items. So I have those and then I have this down here but for now i didn't want to buy a bunch of new things this year and i think this looks so pretty let me know what you think so i wanted to quickly share this centerpiece that i found the pot and the stems from hobby lobby this year with the blackberries and these are perfect for the kitchen dining space and like I said, I got the idea from Kaylin Cash. It wasn't mine, 
but I just thought it would be so pretty with our brown and black table. It's very simple, and since it's already a small table, we don't like to have a lot going on with the table. Whenever we eat, I just pick this up and put it on the counter, but it's a perfect centerpiece, and I love it. Okay guys, that's everything for my fall decorate with me in my kitchen this year. Let me know what all you think, if you're gonna go and buy any of these items I showed you. I love to hear all that you guys have to say and definitely stay tuned because I have more fall content for you coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful and blessed day.